Welcome back everyone. Maybe in a situation on iOS 16 where your iPhone is overheating by quite a bit. Now, like I've stated before, this can happen for many, many different reasons. But the first reason why you may be having some overheating going on with your iOS 16 device is because iOS 16 is very, very new. So if you're watching this right now in the next few weeks, the next few months, even for the rest of 2022, since iOS 16 isn't as mature as iOS 15 or even 14, you're really not going to be getting as stable of an experience or as stable, you know, just phone in general on iOS 16 than previous versions of software. So I say that to say it just kind of comes with the territory. Your phone is going to overheat all the time, probably on iOS 16. On top of that, if you just recently installed iOS 16, meaning your phone was on the counter and you just installed iOS 16 like that, I almost dropped it, you picked it up and you realize it's super hot, well, that phone is because you just installed iOS 16 on it, and that can also cause some issues on your iPhone meaning that your iPhone was just going through a process of installing it and it almost happens with any major size update. So with small updates like iOS 16.0.1, those are like 100 megabytes, not even. Since this update was so big, as you can see right here, this update was 5.34 gigabytes on this iPhone 12 Pro. The bigger the update, the longer it's going to install. So because of that, it's going to probably take a bit of time for your iPhone to cool down from that update. So it's not going to overheat all the time, but it may overheat a little bit. So keep that in mind. Right now, my phone isn't really that hot, but if it was, then it would probably be because of the iOS 16 update. Now, another thing that can cause some issues is with the complications on the main page. So as you can see, with iOS 16, we do have the ability of adding widgets if we hold down on the panel. Now, I have added many different widgets and different panels. So what I would recommend doing is not only clearing out the widgets that you have on your panel, so just basically holding down on the panel, clicking Customize, and clearing out some of these widgets. But what I would also recommend doing is pretty much clearing out as many of these screens that you're no longer using. So if you don't really think you want to use this screen anymore, you don't need it anymore, what I'd recommend doing is holding down on the panel like this, clicking this little three dots. I don't even know how to delete these, to be honest. But essentially, we, oh, we can hold them down like this, so we can click delete wallpaper, and we want to delete the wallpapers we're no longer using, and we also want to limit the amount of widgets we're having up there too. That can be another thing that can cause some issues as well, and those are pretty much the main things to do. Your phone, you can know you can also overheat, you can over. You can also try powering down your iPhone, turning it back on, but those are pretty much the main things to do in this situation. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.